Okay, so here we have a typical example for a size splitter theorem as an extension with multiple parallel lines. They tell us here they want us to find the measure of mn, uh, right? So mn is this length right here. And we're also told that uh, the lines mp and q and uh, or are all parallel. So our focus here is to find the length of mn right here. And the way we're going to do that is using the sides splitter theorem. Now it turns out that it tells us that mo is 16, right? That's this total length right here. And pq is 7, okay? And qr is right here, that's 11, right? So we want to know what, what mn is, right? So here, we don't know um, what on is equal to, and we don't know what what nm is equal to. However, we can set up a ratio. It turns out that these segments are proportional. So m n right over n o is equal to the ratio of p q right over q r. So here, our goal isn't necessarily even to solve right here, but what we can do is set this up. So what does mn equal? Well, I don't know. It, it equals 16 minus no, right? So 16 minus no over no equals pq over qr. Sorry, we know pq and qr. pq is 7 and qr is 4 right here. And NO is just a, a variable, right? So I'm going to rewrite this one last time as 16 minus X over X equals 7 over 4. And we're not solving for X here, I, I guess because it's a quadratic. If we attempted to solve this, we'll have to deal with X squared. Now a simple proof as to why the side splitter theorem works. If you draw a line connecting these two points right here, M and R, what ends up happening is you have, I think, this triangle right here, right? You can look at that one. So M, R, P. In that triangle, we have these parallel lines. Let's say this is Q to, I don't know, A, right? So Q, A is splitting the triangle proportionately. So what do we know? We know P, Q, right? This segment right here, corner of side splitter theorem, or I'll say like this, Q, R to Q, P, this is our first ratio from this triangle. QR, the segment to QP, equals the ratio of RA, right, to AM. And then, you know, over here on the left, though, we have a second triangle, right? We have, just by drawing that one line, we have this triangle here. So that's triangle, let's say, um, ROM. Well, triangle ROM is also being cut by uh, AQ or AN here, right? The same line. And we can tell from the same application of the side splitter theorem just to this triangle now that, um, just like before, sorry, ON, right, to NM, these two pieces, is the same as RA to AM. So it's like two applications of the size of the theorem. But then what happens is, you know, we're going to rearrange these two. So QR uh, over QP equals RA over AM. And then here, notice that ON over NM also equals, right, RA over AM. Let's switch the letters instead of NM. All right, all right it is. Yeah, or as MN, sorry. Same segment. Since they both equal RA over AM, they must then equal each other. So we have ON over MN equals QR over QP. That's almost exactly what I wrote here. Only the ratios are upside down, right? And the letters are written in a different order. So if I flip these around, right, which you can do in a proportion, then what happens is they get exactly MN on top on the left over NO or ON, same thing, and PQ over QR, right? So th these ratios are true because it's, when you have it set up like this, you can just basically do a double application of the side splitter theorem.
Thanks.